What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel and to and for today's weekend news video I have I have for you guys some new trap trick support that is gonna be gonna be in the brand new trap tricks structure deck which I'm actually really intrigued by I will say. Um so if if you so for those who don't know who don't know any, anything about the Trap Tricks archetype, it's an archetype that focuses mo more so on protecting on the monsters protecting each other from from being affected by by traps by trap cards with with that have hole in their name. So cards, you know, cards like cards like uh, <sighs> excuse me. So cards like uh, what is it? Chaos Trap Hole, I, I think. Uh, Bombless Trap Hole, the original Trap Hole, uh, um, Acid Trap Hole, just to name some, just to name some, just name some. In fact, in fact, I'll even reveal some some of the new some of those cards. Really? No. Thank you. For some reason, my my laptop. For some reason, I wanted to go to Nexus. But my laptop decided to go back to the, uh... Go back to... Where it was originally. Alright. <sighs> Excuse me. So... So, to name all of the Trap Hole cards, we have, we have the original Trap Hole. We have Void Trap Hole. Time Space Trap Hole, DD Trap Hole, Deep Dark Trap Hole, Bottomless Trap Hole, uh, Trap Tricks Trap Hole, Nightmare, Grave, Gears, Grave Diggers Trap Hole, Acid Trap Hole, uh, two different artworks actually. Funny enough, I think we've got the one from the one, one from DDS and then and then some other artwork. I don't remember. <laughs> We've got a double trap hole. We have both the original and, of course, the lost art promo, I guess. Uh, double trap hole. Break off trap hole. Adhesion trap hole. Uh, Gemini trap hole, which only focuses, obviously, on Gemini's. Floodgate trap hole. Uh, trap hole spikes. Giant trap hole. Tr uh, network trap hole. Uh, treacherous trap hole. Um, and then, and then uh, delusion trap Trap hole, which I believe is supposed to be with the Trap Tricks archetype. I think it's, I think that th this card is supposed to be with the Trap Tricks uh, deck uh, structure. So that's pretty cool. Um, and for all of you uh, Rush Duel players out there, for those who play Rush Duel, there's also Jewelry Trap Hole, which is a weird one. Um, and then and then of course we have Ascetic Ascetic Acid Trap Hole. And then I believe Psychic Trap Hole, and then of course too we also have Chaos Trap Hole as well, which is a counter trap. So, <sighs> ah, excuse me. So those are basically all of the whole cards, and I'm going to be talking about about all these all these new cards. There are only one, two, a three, four. Four brand new cards and the reprints that are going to be in the set. But I'm very curious about it. Can't wait to uh, show off what the reprints will be. Um, so hopefully hopefully you guys are ready. If you guys are and you guys want to see more, 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 um, more Yu-Gi-Oh! news videos which get posted every Tuesday and of course sometimes on weekends. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. Follow me, on, follow me on my social media. Links will be in the description below. And make sure you guys also also check out my community tab. I just post, I posted um, a I guess a sort of a question. I guess I guess you could say um, on there. So make sure you guys check it out. Leave a like and post post comments as well. I'm very curious of what you guys have have to say of what you guys have to say. And of course also too. Also, to you guys, if you guys have any fan mail that you guys want to send me, and you guys want me to open it up on the channel, the info will also be in the description as well. 
Let's kick things off, obviously, with a brand new Xyz monster known as Treptrix Ping... Pingu... Pingu? Pingusula? I don't know. I'm gonna prob probably... I probably just butchered it, but... It's a rank 4 Earth Plant Xyz with... 20, with 2,500 attack and 300 defense, and it requires two level four monsters, and the second and third effects are are once per turn. And the first effect reads: This card, this card with material is unaffected by trap effects and by activated effects from any other monster with the same type as any of those materials. So, so if you have, so if you have, let's say, a plant and a insect, which I believe most, which I believe the whole deck. The whole trap tricks art archetype is all plants and all um, and all insects. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> basically, basically this card can 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 protect itself from being from being from being affected by any monster that is based that is an insect or plant, which is actually pretty cool. So if so again, if you have a plant and an insect that that you use to overlay and summon and summon this card, then it's then you're basically protecting that that card from both different types, which is pretty cool. Um, so sec the second effect reads reads you can you can detach one one material from this card, add one tri trap tricks monster from your deck to your hand. It's a Stratos. It is basically a Stratos, which is. Pretty busted, pretty busted. Not much else to say about that. Uh, the third effect reads: If a monster or monsters that is owned by your opponent is sent to the graveyard or banished by card effect, you can attach one of them to this card's material. Oh, that just makes that just makes makes this card even more powerful because it, because if you have because because if you have you know you know you know like let's say like a warrior and then of course a dragon and a fiend and a cyburst and um what else can I think of a uh, spellcaster warrior you know you can basically make make this card you know you know unaffected by pr pretty much every mo every monster type in in the game which is pretty nuts pretty nuts i i i've got to admit there's a note underneath that that reads that reads this card is named after Pingusula. I Pingusula, I believe is how it's pronounced. Uh, the scientific name of the butterwort, a type of carnivorous plant in the family Lentibularacea that use their sticky glandular leaves to lure trap and digest insect oh i maybe a ven may, i guess it's some sort of like some some sort of like a venus flytrap or something like that i don't know i don't know i honestly don't know what do you guys think leave leave a comment below because i have no idea i don't know i don't know i don't really know honestly next up we have trap tricks our Arachno Campa, which I believe is how it's pronounced. Uh, four star Earth Insect, 1300 attack, 1500 defense. And the first effect is a once per turn, which reads During the main phase, if you control if you control a Trap Tricks monster as a quick effect, you can special summon this card from, from your hand, and you cannot summon special summon monsters from the extract for the rest of the turn except insect and plant monsters. So it's basically. So it's it's basically another another like cyber dragon monster. It's basically another cyber dragon where it has where it's where its second effect reads that it's unaffected by the effects of of whole normal monster, which is pretty standard for um which is pretty standard for pretty for pretty much all of the other uh, main deck uh, trap tracks monsters, which is pretty cool. But the third effect reads. The first time each set card in your in your spell trapsel will be destroyed by by card effect each turn is not destroyed. So cards such as Harpy's Harpy's Feather Duster. So a card like say Harpy's Fe, Harpy's Feather Fe, uh, uh, Harpy's Feather Duster 
would be no longer in use unless if your opponent was running like something like I'll say like um, like like uh, Magician of Faith or something like that, which is uh, kind of a bad deal to be honest. But but basically, but basically this card is 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 a Cyber Dragon with two with two um, with two protection. Um, effects rolled in into one card, which is not which is not too bad. So again, again, basically, if if your opponent were to activate, let's say Harpy's Harpy's Feather Duster, it would your your set backer would be okay, basically, which is pretty cool. Next up, we have Delusion Trap Hole, which is the new card that I, that I mentioned on Nexus, and it's a normal trap, obviously, which reads that which reads that that is a once per turn, obviously. And the effect reads, if your opponent special summon a monster this turn, target a monster they control with 2,000 or 2000 more attack, destroy it, then if you have a whole normal trap in your grave, you can banish a monster from your opponent's graveyard. So, this is basically... This is basically a nice a, a nice way to not only pop one of your... One of, one of your of your opponent's, you know... You know, pro, you know, more problematic monsters, but it's also a... A call by which is just not too bad, honestly. It isn't too bad. So, so you can actually chain this to. You can actually chain this to. To a chain where it where if you were to add a card from your deck from from your deck to your hand, and then and then your opponent activates Ash Blossom, and then. And then your opponent, you know, activates a card that 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 special summons. You, you know, from 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 you know, from the hands or 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 whatever. You can chain, you can chain, delusion trap hole, to. To destroy that monster if it had if it has two thousand two thousand or more. 2000 or, or or more attack and then banish and then banish the ash blossom from from their graveyard so what happens ash blossom does not trigger and your search or withdrawal or whatever goes through which is pretty cool and now we have the final new card in that I'm going to be talking about which is going to be trap tricks octopus adipus I, I believe how it's pronounced um, which is a, which is an Earth Insect Link Three, with 1800 attack, and its arrows are middle left, middle right, bottom center, and it and, and requires two or more monsters, including a plant or an insect, and it has three separate effects. The first effect reads: This Link Summon card is unaffected by trap effects. Not much else to say about that. The second effect reads: Trap Tricks Monster Control gain a thousand attack. While you have a normal trap in your graveyard, and the third effect reads: Once per turn, you can target face-up cards your opponent controls up to the number of insect and plant monsters you control. Negate their effects until the end of the turn. Then you can banish one normal trap from your grave, and if you do, destroy one one of the targeted face-up cards. So it's basically. So it basically. So it basically just ensures that you get to break your opponent's board once per turn, which is really nice. So, that's actually pretty cool. I gotta admit, um, I've, I've never seen, I've never seen a Link Monster with these type, with these types of effects before, unless, un, unless if I'm thinking, like, un, un, unless, unless, unless if I'm thinking, like, like, maybe a coat, maybe a coat talker or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, but that's actually a pretty cool one. Pretty cool. And being able to, you know, you know, to protect itself from 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 trap effects being able to you know you know make this card a damn near three a damn near three thousand attack beat stick and to be able to just pop cards that on on your opponent's board that's actually not too bad not too bad uh, there's a card un, un, underneath not a card no not a card a note there's a note underneath that reads this card is named after Adipus a genus of Of a of atypical tarantulas known commonly as purse web spiders, 
<laughs> Coming through your Eurasia? Yeah, I, I believe that was pronounced. Um, that's a nice little, uh, I guess a little, a nice little, uh, uh history lesson, I, I, I guess you could say. The, and then for the reprint, so the, so the cards that are going to be reprinted in this, in, in the structure deck, as far, as far as the, as far as the track tracks, uh, cards go, you have, you have eight tracks, uh, you have, uh, Marmelio, uh, Nepenthes, Di Dianea, and then of course too, you also got got other reprints, you know, such as such as Lone Fire Blossom, which is a pretty good pretty good reprint, Bottomless Trap Hole, Void Trap Hole, uh, Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare, Floodgate Trap Hole, Trap Trick, which is a kind of an odd reprint, honestly, uh, Notorious Sacred Tree, and Trap Tricks Rafflesia, which I'm curious of what the other reprints will be, what other new cards we're we're gonna see. So hopefully, uh Hopefully we will see in in the coming weeks. But guys, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. That brings me to the question of the day: What are your guys' thoughts on, on on the new trap trick support, and will the deck be meta? Let me know down in the comments below, and that will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more more Yu-Gi-Oh news videos, which get posted every Tuesday and sometimes on weekends. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on all my social media. Links will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. Simple reminder, guys, don't forget to check out the community tab. Just posted my very first post on there this week, so make sure you guys check it out. Leave a like and post comments as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.